I have a problem with you. Wait. Hold on. I have a problem with you. Drama content has been a relevant norm on YouTube for over half a decade. And that's fine. But you'll look like a banana peel. <laughs> How interesting. <laughs> James Charles has lost at the lose? time of filming this over 400,000 no, subscribers. No way. There was a video of Shane where he appears to be masturbating uh, to a poster of Willow Smith. Call Me Carson was cancelled. Hi guys, so today I got the world record for the most YouTube shares. I am so thankful. Hey guys, here's the top 10 reasons why this channel is so cancer and they're so arsler. This creator lives at 123 Pinecone Street in Bikini Bottom, South Africa. First name Thugger, last name Sex. Their mother's name is Martha, their father's name Cornelius. Their brother's name is Mother Mary. Here's a picture of them and their family. Oh, you wanna know why I'm doing this? I hate minus. What? I don't understand the jelly bean hate. I don't. What's so wrong with a 14 slash 16 year old just reading comments while playing Minecraft parkour? Look, here's the thing about drama videos. You have a popular three forms. A character with their arms crossed talking about something, with rather a gameplay background or no background at all. Honestly, it doesn't surprise me that Sprinkle Glitter a thousand has done this yet again. Here's the screenshots. Someone who sounds like they've never felt the warm touch of a woman. Pronouns are starting to get really fucking dumb. And according to the LGBTQ community, no one is allowed to say anything about it. I'm all for being who you are. You could be a he, him, she, her, or they, them. I don't really care. But when I say hi to you on the street, I don't want you to spit out words faster than Eminem himself. Or, dude, this shit sucks. Do something better. Me, though, I don't really indulge in drama that much. When two artists I like beef, I still listen to both of them. When two YouTubers I like beef, I don't give a shit. It truly doesn't exist in my friend groups, and I could care less about it anywhere else. And I can't remember the last time I actually gave a fuck about someone on Twitter. I'm better than fighting people on Twitter. So what gives? What pushes you to make a video on someone if it really doesn't matter that much? I'd like to think people who make drama videos are really funny in real life. Not in the sense of, <laughs> that's a good joke, but in the sense of where you laugh at them, like, hard. It's the art of loading up TikTok and ranting hard about gender norms while you grab footage of some racing game or CSGO surf footage. I'm now discovered a way for women to impregnate themselves using their own bone marrow. The and the only child that can result from those pregnancies are female. It's sick. I'm sorry, but this is just not a viable solution for reproduction. The babies are extremely annoying, and they only live for a next two weeks. Or here, you take someone's video and take the time to put a picture of skeletons and some facetious comment in between every word. I'd like to think people who are really funny in real life. That's a good joke. It's the art of loading up TikTok and ranting hard about gender norms. When it comes to commentary YouTubers in the drama videos, like the art community, this one's a bit, a bit more hilarious to me. Could you imagine waking up, checking your phone, and the first thing you see is a creator messed up, you decide to start beef with someone? Like, you just decide to be a hater. So you brush your teeth, take a shower, well, some of them skip that last step, go to your computer, open up Google Docs, and sit there hunched for eight hours typing away about somebody. You gotta get the notes, sis! Put those English classes to use! Notepads, tweets, video timestamps, damn and they friends. Getting the X on the phone, studying this person's actions just so you could cross your arms. That is extreme level dick writing. But you gotta do what you gotta do for your drama video. Britney! Britney Spears! I need to- I need to ask you something. I'm Britney, that's me, I'm Britney, bitch. I need you to give me all the information on what gobble juice Great. Well, I married Jason Allen Alexander in 2004. Um, I think he died like a, f a few months later. Lazlak's video focuses more on how James lied about the raid that Lazlak did on his server and focuses on him confronting James about his actions. Then James went on Indeed.com and filed a job application. If you want to have none of these casual lanes, no TikTok surfing, crossing your arms, drama alert, or video essays, you could just go absolutely boring. Okay, girlies, welcome back to NIU. It's tea time. Last night at the Oscars, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. Such a shame that we automatically answer everything with violence. But can you believe it? Last night at the Oscars, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. After a joke about Will Smith's wife being so disgraceful, Will Smith walked up the stage and slapped Chris Rock. So 
girlies, how do you feel about Will Smith slapping Chris Rack? I think, I think Will Smith slapping Chris Rack, I think at the Oscars last night was- Hey girlies, Kanye West is Kanye Westing right now. How do we feel about Kanye West, Kanye Westing right now? It's giving creepy stalker vibes. Your drama video has to be crafted. This is a drama video. How so, you may ask? A quote T video usually has one person step up, rather with good reasoning or pure pettiness, to call somebody out or simply attack them, out of pure bliss, like clockwork. This genre blessed 2016, the dark commentary era that gave us the yellow ad signs and the anxiety to express ourselves. Having a commentary made on you in 2018 is the same as getting called out on Twitter in 2022. These things evolve and prosper. Or if you want a Google drama video. A drama is a story that's meant to be acted out now. Let me tell you about how you can see it on a stage or read it in a book. It's emotional, exciting. My bad, y'all. Uh, I, I, I didn't mean to click on vocabulary. Flow cap. Ha, that shit was horrible. Who'd even watch something like that? Let's never watch that kind of content again. You see, that's the problem with these kind of reaction YouTubers. They're all dicks. We gotta be more positive. <laughs> Word up to seven figures, my swag is always capital and live in North Virginia, be no on that hood beat. You ain't know he had it and I'm came on this beat. I ain't even buy a dinner, uh? 